Hi everybody, it's Robert Jordan, and I'm at uh, the Bassoon Lodge here in O'Fallon, Illinois, which is just across the river from St. Louis, Missouri, and I've got a bassoon in my hands as per usual. This is a Fox 660 that belongs to Jesse Sharts of Columbus, Ohio. And Jesse wanted to have some yearly maintenance done on this bassoon, just checked over, fix whatever happens to be obviously wrong, get it up and running, etc. But he also wanted to have uh, this key added to it, the Jordan key. So what I thought I'd do today is show you what it's like without the Jordan key by taping over the hole where the Jordan key is and in effect disengaging the Jordan key. Now I'm going to try six notes. It's the six problem notes for the bassoon at the top and just above the bass clef staff. A, B flat, B natural, C, C sharp, and D. And I'm just gonna try to get those out uh, without doing anything at all, except to below. So, and I'm gonna approach them from the octave below. <laughs> to work but the bassoon's not really helping us out very much so what we learn to do is to use our left thumb on one of these three speaker keys vent keys flick keys whatever you like to call them so I'm going to try that now so it's a good bit better much better certainly acceptable <clears throat> whereas it was kind of unacceptable without that. Now, I'm going to remove the tape, and we're going to try those six notes, just like I've done before, but with the Jordan key. So there's no thumb motion hardly to speak of. I'm just going to press and release the whisper key. This will come open. The hole is now uncovered. So let's see what happens. Okay, it's great. And I'll tell you, I was just at the Meg Quigley Symposium at the University of Arizona. They had a really good turnout this year. It's a great, great thing to do. I encourage any bassoonist to try to make it the next time they have one of these things. Meg Quigley Symposium, fantastic. In any case, there was, I'd venture to say, a hundred bassoonists that tried one of the bassoons I have with the Jordan key. And every time, every time after they played it. And I had witnesses, uh, they smiled because it was so much easier. It's, it, and the, the notes are better. So what I'm telling you is you need this thing if you're a bassoon player. If you wanna play better, if you wanna play with less effort, this will help you. There's now two bassoonists, at least, in Ohio that have the Jordan key. One of them is Joe Hessman, he's in Dayton, Ohio. And the other, in just a few days here, is Jesse Schartz in Columbus, Ohio. But, uh, and they'd be happy, I'm sure, to show you their instrument with the Jordan key, demonstrate it, probably let you play it if you wanted to. I do make the rounds. I was at Mech Quigley this weekend. I'm gonna be at uh, Butler University for their double read day. The week after that, uh, next weekend, I'm gonna be at University of Georgia for their double read event. I'm doing my own double read event in a few weeks. I'll be at a, at a lot of different places, so just, just follow me if you want to catch up and try one of these things. Or find somebody, there's now almost 60, 70 people uh, who have the Jordan key, so it's, it's spreading, uh, and it's spreading in a very good way. It makes the bassoon better. So get in touch with me if you want more information, or if you'd like to have this added to your bassoon, and I'll work with you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.